All right, what's going on today, YouTube? Welcome back to your favorite cyclist YouTube channel. This week, we are starting the build on the road bike, giving it a full refresh, and we're gonna start off by changing our brake and shifter levers out on this bike. But before we get into today's video, if you are new to my channel, make sure you head down below, hit that subscribe button for me. If you already are subscribed, make sure that little bell icon right next to that is checked off, that way you get notified every time I upload. That way you don't miss any of this awesome cycling content we got on this channel. So we are starting with the road bike, and first thing we're gonna be working on is our new brake levers and shifters right up here. Now, if you watched the last video, we have all sorts of stuff we're gonna be doing with this bike. So why am I starting with the brake levers and the shifter levers? Essentially, I brought came down to, that's kind of the first thing you just get done before anything else happens. For instance, in order to put our togs on, the togs actually go below the brake levers. So in order to put those on, I need to have the new brake levers on. In order to do our new brakes, kind of need new brake levers on so I can run the cable to them and get those working. And do our, once we do our new brakes, we can throw our new tires on. So kind of makes sense. And then of course with our pedals, I'm not gonna ride the bike till it's done. So there's no point in doing the pedals now. Then when I can just wait for it to be done and then do that at that time. So. We're gonna start with these brake levers here. Now, so we're gonna go ahead, we gotta take everything off here. So we're gonna start off taking our bar tape off. And I'll explain why. So a lot of us know a mountain bike brake lever kind of has a clamp style design. So you can kind of clamp around the bar, or if not, it slides on the end of the bar. So sometimes you can get lucky and not have to remove the grips. Sometimes you, sometimes you have to. That's the case with the road bike. Sometimes you have to remove the grips, and that's the case on a road bike shifter. So I have our new lever here, and this will help me describe how, how the lever actually mounts onto the road bike handlebars. So we take a look here on the back. You'll see there is a metal clamp in there. So this clamp is actually what's around the bars. So this holds it onto your handlebars. And then there is a adjustment bolt right here that pretty much tightens down and pulls that clamp together and holds it nice and tight. So with that being like that, you pretty much have to slide these on and off your bars. There isn't really a way to take them on and off or change them, while they're on the bike. Along with that, your bar tape actually wraps around this inside section right here. And so you have bar tape kind of wrapped around this plastic on the inside of the hood. So you kind of have to take them off in order to make it look good and actually make it function. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take off what's on here. So first things first, we gotta take off the bar tape to get that off. And then we can kind of move on from there into actually taking them off. So to take that bar tape off, it's actually pretty simple. Let me bring it a little closer and show you what you gotta do. So right up at the bars, I have a whole video all about wrapping these bars on this bike. So of course we're gonna keep this bar tape. It really doesn't have that many miles on it. So we're gonna be keeping this bar tape. This red stuff here, this is actually from ESI Grips. They give us like a silicone single use tape. So that's it sticks to itself is what they say keeps it looking clean, that is just gonna have to go away. Let's see if we can kind of get it off. Once you get under there, pretty much what's holding your bars, what's holding your tape on at the top is generally electrical tape. Just being real, that's what pretty much all bike shops use, that's what I use. And it works really good because it stretches and it seals and secures them very nicely to the bars. And it's black, so it kind of blends in, makes it look really good, give a good transition. Once you find the end, you just go ahead and just gonna unwrap our electrical tape. And then from there, we just go ahead and get to unwrapping. And again, I'm gonna reuse this tape, so I am kind of making sure I keep it in semi-decent condition. And then when you get over to your hoods for your brake levers, you just pull these up. They just coil up right against the top, just like so. And then you can finish unwrapping through there. And of course, when you get to the end, you just gotta pop your bar end out like so. And there's one side of our wrap set to go and do the same for the other. All right, and once you get your bar tape off, you're pretty much left with this. And obviously you can see a lot more of the bar, of the levers and you see that metal clamp we were talking about before. And of course, before we take our levers off, we're gonna do one more thing. That's gonna be removing our cables from our brake calipers and our derailers. That way we can get these levers completely removed from the bike. So we're just gonna go ahead, all these bolts are just gonna loosen them up, pull the cable through, and then we'll come right back to pull these guys off. Okay, so we got all our cables disconnected. We got our old electric tape holding the cables to the bars all cut off. So everything is nice and loose. And in my case, I am putting new cables on everything. So for me, I kept at least the rear length of that rear derailleur cable. So we're gonna use the same one there. And we're gonna keep these cables. Are and then this housing here for our brake brakes are gonna be the same. So we're keeping those on here. That way we can measure the lengths for our new housing and get that measurement. Cause we're not going with white, we're going with black housing this time. Make it look a little cooler. So to get these levers off from here, on these old styles right here on the side of them, right there is a little slot. You can slide the long end of your Allen key in there and it should be a five millimeter. And you just, okay, well, it should just come off. Put the small end in there so we can get a little leverage. There we go. Once you get it moving, you should just be able to then use your long end and we should just be able to unscrew that till it's loose, just like that. And we just pull our guy right off. All right, so just like that, we've got our old lever off on the one side and we'll just do the other side and we'll have our levers straight clean off of this bike. 
All right, so there is just our bars with with nothing else on them. They look very interesting. I don't think I've ever had those levers off these bars, but there we have it. Uh, let me go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and clean these up just a little bit, and then we're going to go ahead and slide our new shift new levers on here and start getting those installed. Okay, so we got our bars stripped down. There was a little bit of surface rust just right where the clamps work. They haven't moved in 12 years or so. So I made sure to just kind of put a little paint paint on those just to make sure they kind of stay at least semi fresh, you know. So we're gonna look at our new brake levers here. So this is gonna be our right lever. So it's gonna go on this side right here, right there. So that's gonna go right there on that side. And we need to get our cables installed in here. So for my case, I'm running brand new cables on this bike. We're doing brand new everything. So when you get brand new cables, you're essentially, most of the time you're gonna get at least two. So you're gonna get two, if you're just doing brakes, you're gonna get two cables. One's gonna be long, one's gonna be short. Front one is gonna be the short one, obviously. It just has to go from essentially right here down to here. So very short. The back one's gonna be your long cable because that's go all the way to the back of the bike. So you're gonna get a long cable. So we got our long cable here. For a road bike, you're going to use the little mushroom top, the one like that. This one over here is for a mountain bike style, for a mountain bike style brake lever. So make sure you use the mushroom top. So since we're using the other one, we're just gonna cut this mountain bike style one off of off our cable because we don't need that one. And they just give it to you so they can use it either way. Once you have that done, we're gonna go ahead. Brake lever brake cables are always the easiest on these. Essentially, you pull the lever down, and you can see there's a little slot right there. And that little slot is where the end of this mushroom is gonna go in. And if you look out the back, you can, might be able to see it. There's a little tiny hole on the back side, and that's gonna essentially gonna pop it right out the back of the lever, right up here. So it's gonna pop right out there. So I'll go ahead and I'll feed it through and you guys should be able to see it pop out the other side. Here it goes. All right, and there you go. Popping right out the other side. And all we're gonna do is just pull that all the way through. Make sure a little mushroom sits in a little groove, just like so and you have your brake cable installed. Super easy one to do, super easy. And then we're gonna move on to our shift cable. And again, you're gonna get two when you buy a set. So you buy two of them, one's gonna be longer, one's gonna be shorter, same thing. Short one goes in the front, long one goes to the back. And with the shifter cable, it's going to vary based on the style of shifter you have. In my case, I have the newest generation Shimano Sora. Pretty much all the new generation Shimano shifters should be about the same. So in this case, what we do is we pull our boot all the way up here, and there is a slot right there on the side, right there. And that's where our cable is gonna feed into. That is actually where the cable is and where the mechanism to shift is. In this case, and then on this side of those, and then this side, you actually see this gray cover here. So this gray cover, we can pop off just like that. And it just kind of hangs off to the side like so. And that lets us see in there to make sure the cable is actually going all the way through and gives you a little bit of light on the other end of that too. Now, what we're gonna do, we're gonna make sure we push our little lever all the way down to make sure we are in the highest gear we can be in to make sure that is fully accessible for our cable. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna get that cable, we're gonna start feeding it through the hole and you'll see it pop out the other side, just like so. So there's our cable on the other side and we're just going to pull her all the way through our brake lever, all the way through our lever. And on this side, you're gonna see our little butt, a little, uh, the little ball end right here kind of got stuck. So we gotta make sure that pops right into the slot there and goes all the way in, there we go. And you should be able to pull it and it comes to a stop inside of there. And that is exactly what you gotta do. From there, of course, you can test it, make sure it works. So you can kind of hold your cable and try and shift and it should pull your cable and move just fine, which mine does perfectly, which is great. And move it back. There we go. And that is all set. And then on this side, we just put our little cover back on our shifter right there. And that side is set. And then from there, right before you close up that boot, in my case, I like putting our cables on first and then putting them on the bars. I think it's a little bit easier to maneuver and see everything as you put those cables in. And then once that is set in there, you can see there's our bolts for tightening our little clamp again. Clamp's nice and loose right now. You can see when I pull it, that bolt moves. So we need to put this on. Make sure you put them on the right side. In this case, this is the right side. In case of these newer Shimano shifters, the label goes on the outside of the bike. So Shimano Sora is gonna face the outside of the bike. So from there, we just go ahead and we just grab our new guy and we're just going to put it on and we're just gonna slide it up and I'm pretty much gonna set these roughly at where our old ones were, which is right about there. Is that gonna be good? I don't know. Let's see. So then you kind of have to just play with them. You can stick them on there and we're gonna pull our hood down and see kind of how it lines up and if it lines up okay or if it feels like it needs to go to the side some or what it needs to do. That might be pretty good. Let's try that right there. I'm just gonna tighten these guys down. 
and make sure they're tight because these are your brake levers. You're going to be putting weight on these because if you're on a road bike, you're riding kind of on your hoods most of the time. So you want to make sure these are not loose. Otherwise, you might you might eat crap on the road. So you got to make sure they're nice and tight. If you have carbon bars, be careful. Torque specs are important on carbon. Well, they're important anywhere, but I go till I feel like we're pretty good, which is like right there. Should be pretty, pretty happy. All right, so we got that. I'm gonna fold our hood back on this side. That looking all good there. All right, and then we just do the same thing for the other side, and then we'll get working on our cables. All right, so we got both sides on right there, and we're going to just pull our boot or pull our hood down on this side. Make this side look good. There we go. Yeah, just like that. All right, so we got both of these on there. So what I'm gonna do, so this is all personal preference here of how high you want these, where you want them positioned. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna take the bike down, I'm gonna stand over the bike, see how these feel and make adjustments from there. Of course, once you wrap the bars with these on, they're pretty much where they're gonna be. They don't move. They, there's nowhere to move them. They get crapped in the bar tape. So you wanna make sure your adjustments and where you've had them placed is perfect and where you want them to be before you actually get to wrapping your bars. So I'm gonna do that off camera, make sure they're in the right spot, we'll pick right up. Okay, so we got these installed to the position we want them at, which is perfect, pretty much. It's a little bit higher than the old ones were, but should be pretty good. I like the feeling of them quite a bit. The hood's a little different on these, so that's why I had to move them and kind of feel where they want to be exactly. From there, we gotta move on to our housing, of course. That's pretty much our last step before we are set done with our new shifter brake levers combo here. So for the brakes on this bike, lucky me, these are about the same position as our old shift levers were, like same, same length housing for our brakes is gonna work. So we can use this same length, I'm just gonna use these as a template, that'll get our brake housing all set to go. When we get to our shift housing, we're gonna have to kind of come up with this front piece ourselves and kind of figure out how long we want it to be and everything like that. But we're gonna use our brake housing first, that way we kind of have how much they're gonna hang off the front, how they're gonna look and kind of match that up with our shift housing. So we're gonna cut new ones out of this. Of course, I got new black housing here, to go a little, little stealth style. So we got our white housing. Let's get our new ones lined up to it. And we'll kind of get them straightened out some so we can get it lined up good. There we are. All right, there's gonna be our end of our brake housing. We'll just chop that right there. Bingo, and we'll just get that cleaned out of the end and we should be ready to install our first piece of housing on the bike. First piece cut, get our little end caps here and on these ones, they don't seem to want a stop. They don't seem to want a stop on the inside. They just want it just like, just like you see it, so. I don't know. So we'll throw one of these on this side. So yeah, for whatever reason, I don't remember why, it might be built into these. But in this case, these shifters do not want the little end on the cable going into the brake lever. So there we go. There's our first one. We'll go ahead and feed it through our brake. Of course, we're gonna change it out, so I'm not gonna actually adjust anything on these brakes. But that is our first, first piece of black housing on this bike. All right, so I'll go just like that or so, and that should look freaking cool. I like the look of the black. All right, so I'll go right there and we'll do our rear brake too, and then we'll start working on the shift cables, or the shift housing from there. So while I was about to put the housing on, these in-frame adjusters, actually one of them snapped off and the other was about to snap off. So I'm gonna put a pause on this until I can get those changed out and order new ones, and then we'll be right back as soon as you know it to get these derailleur cables installed. Okay, so we got our problem fix that we ran into where one of the bolts on our stops actually snapped off inside there. And um, I hope none of you have to deal with that ever. That is a pain. What ended up happening is I pretty much cut both the ones that were on the frame off because I have to have a matching, you know, it just has to match. If it doesn't match, it's not worth it. I cut them both off. Ended up ordering some that were made for down tube shifters that are pretty much made to replace a down tube shifter with the cable stop so you can use a more modern lever on there. And then did kind of the same thing I did with the fat bike when I put the bottle cages on it. So pretty much I cut it off, cleaned it all up, drilled the hole, and then used a rib nut to make a pretty much essentially a threaded hole where they needed to be. And it worked. I'm not going to make a video on that because I hope none of you ever have to deal with that because that was horrible. And you know, it's kind of an iffy thing. You're drilling into the down tube of your bike. So, you know, 
Especially with it being especially with it being aluminum, it's kind of iffy. So the one thing I'll tell you from that that I learned: make sure you grease this adjuster right there. Grease that guy up. So what happens is, this is steel, this is aluminum. They don't like each other. They tend to tend to form to each other, they tend to attach to each other. And when they attach to each other for a long time, especially with a little bit of salt water in there, they're not coming apart, they're not. I tried everything from easy out to Torx bits, to Allen keys, to impact gun, to penetrated lubricant. Eventually it cracked and I ended up using a welder to try and get it out and the welder didn't even work. So yeah, so a ton of heat didn't work at all. So I ended up trying to cut them off and I mean, it happens, it happens. So. Make sure there's grease on those. If you've never checked, check. You do not want those to go together. The ones we have now are aluminum and aluminum. The bolt is actually aluminum and the mount is aluminum. So shouldn't have to deal with that again, but I did put grease on everything in there because I don't want to do this again. So we got that figured out. Now we can finally move on to making our shift cables. So we'll go ahead and look at the front of our bike here. So shift cable on here. So again, I kind of talked about it in my last video. Shift cables have a bunch of little cables running all around in there. You gotta make sure you get the shift housing. It's also gonna be the thinner housing generally. So make sure you get the right one. From there, we need to, we're gonna of course measure. And these ones in my case are gonna be completely different because we're going from the shift cables coming out the side of the shifter and down down to now we're pretty much running along the bars and then dropping down. So totally different length here. So we gotta kind of figure this out. So in my case, this guy is gonna go up till right there, it looks like. Okay, and it's gonna of course come around our bars like so. Maybe. Come on, there it goes. Okay, so they're gonna come around our bars like so. And right about here, we're gonna drop off and come down. To there and realistically that's not going to move too much which is kind of good shop our housing up and the shift housing is gonna be tougher to cut because essentially it's a bunch of those different little wires so you make sure it's gonna be tougher to cut okay so we got all cleaned up and just out of curiosity is this about the same length as we're gonna want for the other side if it is I'll just cut two of the same deal oh punch myself in the face all right, so got this guy kind of like tweaked in there. Down, two, oh my, down in there. Yeah, it's about what I want for the other side. All right, so I'm just gonna cut two this same length and then we should be set to go ahead and hook up our shifters. So there we go, there's our housing all set. From there, we just need to uncoil our cables. All right, cable all uncoiled and we're just gonna feed it through our cable here. We're gonna feed our cable through our housing. Let it pop out the other side. Perfect. All right, tighten this guy up all the way. We need to get this to fit in to our stop up on our shifter. There we are. And we just need to bring it down to our stop on our frame and we just feed it, feed our cable through a stop on our frame. Just like so, all right. From there, you just need to get your derailleurs all adjusted and you have your new brifters installed on your bike. From there, you can kind of see what I did with the brake cable here. You're gonna go ahead and you're gonna pull these, put these about where you want them and you're just gonna tape the bar. I generally do about two or three spots. Let's see, one. Okay, I did two last time, it looks like. I had one and two. I had two spots, so that way it stays against the bar. When you wrap it, it's not waving all around everywhere. I use electrical tape and it works pretty good. So, do that. Get your get your derailleurs adjusted and uh, you have new brifters installed on your bike. All right, and that's how you go ahead and install brand new brifters, shifter slash brakes on your road bike and get them working perfectly good and get them nice and improved on your bike. So hopefully you guys are able to learn something from this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Appreciate the support. And if you got any comments or questions, let me know down in the comments section below. Love chatting with you, love answering questions you guys have, and we will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching today.